All right, today we're going to take a look and listen to the way the sound propagates over bodies of water. And I'm going to use the 4th of July fireworks show shot from a barge over the lake. And we're going to listen to the sound. This is cool stuff. And here's some pictures of the show from where we were watching it. Super clear and... Um, we could hear everything really, really well. I've got a show coming up where I have to deal with sound propagation issues over water. So this was a really good learning experience. But this is the place that we were watching from. And here is the fireworks show as we saw it in real time. And you can see what we see and hear what we hear. Let's listen to and then calculate how long it takes the sound of the fireworks to reach the side of the lake where we're watching from. eight and a quarter seconds of delay between what we see and what we hear and we'll do some math and figure it out speed of sound i calculated it for the temperature there in big bear and it turns out to be a mile and three quarters away but listen to how clear this stuff sounds and furthermore there was really nobody around where we were we're hearing sound from miles and miles away on the perimeter of the lake, but listen how clear they are. You can hear people talking and different stereos happening. I mean, this is a really strange phenomenon to where we're seeing something really far away, it's super clear, and we're hearing things really far away really clear as well. And let's take a look at why this is happening. So there's some water there and some sky and a sun in my super high quality drawing here. And the temperatures involved, the evaporation of the water creates a cooler air above the water. Then it gets warmer, and then up at higher altitudes, it's cold again. And what happens is, from the sound source, wherever it is, sound refracts away from warmer air. And we can see that those lower three arrows are bending back down towards the lower areas. And it causes sound to travel a really long distance without diffusing when over a kind of cold body of water, something cold and smooth, and there's no diffusion from forest and grass and rocks. And it, it has the ability, because of this, it travels a really long distance. Uh, we'll go ahead and watch this for a second. This is kind of the finale coming up here. Now I have this show coming up where I'm a consultant and I've got this uh, pretty much the same issue except we have the opposite. I don't want people to be able to hear things clearly over a body of water and it's actually six to seven miles away that the issue I'm dealing with is. And I talked about it in um, some of the videos in one of the YouTube chats and I'll do more on that with the solutions that I'm implementing to try and steer the sound away from the um, neighborhoods and undesirable coverage areas using techniques to try and mitigate this and hopefully it will work. All right, fun stuff and thanks for joining.